Sup lads, Nixlad here. Today we're going to do a short mod showcase of a really neat mod I found over on lcpdfr.com, as well as some suggestions and my overall thoughts on the mod. Remember to like this video if it helps you out or if you find it interesting, and be sure to subscribe for more LS LSPDFR videos and live streams. Simple HUD by Vinoxity is a sort of a newer implementation of a mod that's been around in the community for a long time, since 2015 actually. Player Location Display. These are not the same mod authors as far as I'm aware, though this mod definitely seems to have taken inspiration from the layout of PLD. Both great mods, though PLD hasn't been updated for a, quite some time. I was actually using PLD until I decided to throw Simple HUD into my setup. Simple HUD basically shows your location, what road you're on, the time, your speed, and your cardinal direction in a really nice format on the bottom of your screen. It also has a map overlay with an approximate speed limit of the road you're on, which is very cool. The speed limits are a bit questionable at times, but we will get into that near the end of the video in my suggestions portion. Now this mod does require scripthookv.net, which is known to cause random crashes sometimes, so take that as you will. It can be unstable at times, so be sure to always back up your game and make sure you have suitable alternatives ready in case something breaks. This mod also requires scripthookv and lemon UI. Both will be linked in the description. First off, we're going to install scripthookv. If you do not have scripthookv installed, head over to the link I provided in the description and open up the RAR file. Go into bin. Select scripthookv.dll and dinput8.dll. You're going to want to drag them over into your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Drag, drop, and replace if prompted. Next, we're going to need scripthookv.net, which is can be found at the link provided. We're going to open up the zip file. We're going to select everything except for license.txt and readme.txt. We're going to drag it and drop it into our main game directory, and we're going to replace when prompted. Next, we're going to install Lemon UI, which is also required for this mod. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. We're going to go to the scripts folder. If you do not have a scripts folder, make sure you just make a folder called scripts. We're going to go inside the scripts folder. We're going to open up the zip file provided. We are going to go inside scripthookv.net3 or shvdn3 folder. We're going to drag everything from here, and we're going to drop it into the scripts folder. And we're going to replace when prompted. Next, we're going to install Simple HUD. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the zip file from lcpdfr.com that we grabbed. We're going to open it up. We're going to navigate inside the scripts folder. We're going to drag everything from here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 scripts folder. We're going to drag everything into here, and we're going to replace if we are prompt. Now there is one additional file we do need to install. So we're going to go into the simple HUD folder from lcpdfr.com, and we can see this simple HUD.ytd. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in our open IV that we just opened, we're going to go to the mods folder, we're going to go to update, update.rpf, x64, Textures, scripts, underscore, txds.rpf. We're going to open that up. If this location does not exist for you, however, we are going to go back to the GTA 5 main directory in OpenIV. We're going to go to update, update.rpf, x64, textures, script, underscore, txds.rpf. And normally, uh, if you're in this directory, uh, we, do, we don't want to mess with anything here. Uh, we want to actually create this directory or find it if it exists. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter edit mode. We're not going to mess with anything. And if it says copy to mods folder up here, you're going to do that and it's going to take you there. But in my case, I already have it. So I'm going to click show in mods folder. Now that we're here, we can look over on our simple hud.zip in our 7-zip on the right. We're going to take this simple hud.ytd file. We are going to drag it to the desktop. 
as you can see there already is a file on the desktop we're going to drag it here and now we're going to drag it into scripts underscore txds.rpm drag it on the white space on the side now the reason i drag it to desktop uh first before directly dragging it from uh, the zip file is sometimes it misses files. It can be very finicky. I've had it miss some files sometimes. So just to be safe, we drag it to the desktop first and then drag it into. Next, we're going to click file, close all archives, and then we are going to exit open ID. Now we are gonna wanna have access to the in-game customization menu for Simple HUD. So to do that, we are going to Open up our Grinth.05 main directory in File Explorer. We're going to go to the Scripts folder. And we're going to go to simplehud.ini. We're going to open that with Notepad. In my case, I have Notepad++, so just bear with me. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom until we see the last line that says Menu Enabled. I have it set to False. So in order to activate this in-game, we're going to set it to true. And the toggle key I have is, is completely optional. It's completely up to you. I personally usually have menu enabled set to false while I'm in-game because I'm pretty happy with how the way I configured mine. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to set this to F10 for demonstration purposes and we are going to hop back in the game. So before we are done here, we're going to save this file. We're going to exit it out, exit out of File Explorer, and we are good to go. See you in game. Now that we're in game and on duty, you could see in the bottom left of my screen the simple HUD. And you can also see the speed limit on the left of the map. Ignore the map, that is uh, not <laughs> vanilla. But uh, yeah, so as soon as we uh, get in a car or anywhere really, you can press F10. And now we have our access to our symbol HUD customization. So we could go to general, we could change the primary and secondary colors, change the color of the speedometer. I actually have the speedometer turned off currently. So we could turn that back on just to show you. Let's disable that again. We could change the location and the scale of our direction. So change it a little bit here, change it a little bit here. And we could also change the time, position of the time, and the uh, location. And then also we can right align it as well. Now keep in mind, uh, if you don't want this menu after you configured everything and you have it the way you want it, you go back in the INI file and just set that value uh, back to uh, false. Now the mod is great, but I feel like it could use a few more things to make it even better. So here are some of my suggestions. As I mentioned before, the speed limits need some fine tuning. There are certainly some areas of the map where I think speeds in the 70s is a bit too fast, in areas in the city where 45 seems a bit too fast as well. You could customize the speed limits in the included.json file, however it would be nice to have them more fine-tuned out of the box. Another suggestion I have is to be able to move and scale around more of the UI elements. Some of them you can, you could even change the color, but it would be nice to be able to move and scale the speedometer or speed limit a bit. Hopefully you guys find this useful and see this as an interesting mod to implement into your LSPDFR setups. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it as it helps the algorithm a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more videos or live streams from me in the future. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time.